Oh hey, it's me Olive and welcome back to my channel. April is coming to an end, so you know what that means. You know that saying, like April showers bring May flowers. Well this video is inspired by April showers. Yay! Um, so if you want to see my interpretation of April showers, then keep on watching this video. But before we get into this video, make sure you're subscribed to the channel. Make sure you hit that bell notification so you know the next time I make a brand new upload. And check out all my other socials at The Olive Cox for more drag fun. All right, let's get into this. Um, I'm gonna go glue my brows down off camera to save some time and I will be right back. And welcome back. As you can see, I have my brows all glued down. I have my beard color corrector on. So I'm ready to get into this look. And uh, for this look today, the inspiration is like very sad clown. Like I think Pennywise just like. With depression. Because um, you know, April showers bring May flowers, you know. We're gonna take all of the like the bad stuff that has happened and turn it into something good. You know, turn that brown upside down. Oh, we love that on this channel. So let's get into this. Um, for today, I'm going to get into this foundation and for foundation, I'm using the LA Girl White Concealer because um, we're doing white face today, yet again. You're going to want to get this as even as possible but you know white is very difficult to get even on the face so honestly just good luck to you with this journey if you decide to recreate this you know you could wear this to church if you know that's your gig the congregation would love that speaking of april showers guess what your girl did I'm pretty sure you broke my toe I know, how did you do that? Oh my gosh, it's so crazy. Um, story time. Um, I was literally just, you know, cleaning up around the apartment and your girl stubbed her toe and she fell hard, bitch. Saw my like life flash before my eyes. It was very traumatizing. I'm not gonna say I survived, but I thrived. Now my like toe looks gnarly, so that's fun. I love that for my journey. That's my arc. Pull back the hair, try to get it in the hairline as much as possible. Fun fact, doing this is going to make your teeth look even more disgusting, so that's great. Don't forget to get your ears. Or just like the idea of your ears, like you don't have to like get that detail, let's be honest. People say why, they're like, okay. She's, it's fine. At least you tried. And once again, white is so difficult to get even on your skin if you are darker than, you know, just alabaster. <laughs> anyway, back to my toe. Back to me. No, I like totally fucked it up. Blending out this concealer now. I just wanted that to add more of a highlight. All right, I'm gonna take some white eyeshadow and set the high points of my face before they start creasing. And right now I'm just taking the shade uh, Cake Face in the Lunar Beauty palette and just setting around my mouth area after I use some translucent powder. The translucent powder kind of disrupted the color and I don't want it, that to happen at, like under the eye. You know what I mean? Just taking Cake Face under the eye. And right now I'm just taking some of the translucent powder and just setting the rest of the face. Note to future self, like try not to be so clumsy. I say that and I literally just drop my sponge. <sighs> it's my life. Next on an angled brush, I'm taking a gray eyeshadow and just contouring with that. And if you haven't noticed, once again, this look is inspired by Gottmik finalist in a RuPaul's Drag Race season 13. And just placing that in the hollows of the cheeks. And great arch eyeshadows. Very difficult to find. Um, I have one in this Trixie Cosmetics palette, Daytime Realness. Yeah, not too many like eyeshadow palettes. 
I have gray eyeshadows. All right, we have like the base of that done. Just go to the other side, do the same thing. Then we can go in with a denser brush and further deepen it up with some black after. Now that I have this all done, I can cut under just to clean everything up and make it look cleaner, obviously. All right, you can set that with some white. I'm gonna go to the same thing to the other eye off camera just to save some time and I will be right back. As you can see, I added a lip because I was looking a little sus with that one. I'm gonna start mapping out the liner and take a gray eyeshadow and just place that in my crease. And I'm just taking that same gray eyeshadow and using that to contour my nose. Oh no! I did too much. And I'm just using some white eyeshadow to clean up right next to my nose contour. And just continue blending that gray eyeshadow. And then just around the edges of that, I'm just taking white eyeshadow and just blurring those edges out. Just to make everything a little more seamless and blended and gorgeous looking. Because what has got my little love doing? Making everything gorgeous. Gross, I can't believe I said that. I shouldn't be allowed. Look at me. I'm just focusing most of this just right around the eyebrow area. And with a little bit of black, I'm just gonna deepen that up just a little bit more. All right, I'm gonna cut the crease and do the same thing to the other eye just to save some time, and I will be right back. As you can see, I have the other eye all done and complete. Ugh, I'm starting to look real gorge. Ooh, look at that, like, ugh. Am I gonna do white face more often? No, because like, oh, I don't like the way it makes my teeth look. But like, she's kinda cute, right? Anyway, time to make this like a sad clown, like come together. All right, so for the under eye, I'm just going to take that same gray shade and just connect it to the nose contour again. And I'm just taking the gray shadow and just blending that into the liner. And right now I'm just trying to build up coverage under the eye with that gray. Just blending it out as much as I can. Ooh, looks coming together. All right, now I'm going to dip into a deeper charcoal gray and deepen everything up. Create as much depth as I possibly can, considering we're just using grays and blacks. Ooh. Ooh, I was like actually like so sad because of my like foot, like my foot is literally hurting. Um, my toe looks so gnarly, but like, this is like makeup actually putting me in a better mood. Thanks guys, thanks for being here with me. Thanks for turning this frown upside down. Right, and right now I'm still taking that deepest charcoal color and creating depth and shadow. Now I'm going to dip into just one tap of black and then just Deepen that up one more time. Cute, and then just go around the perimeter with some white. Gorge. Um, ooh. And I'm just going to add a little white to the waterline. Okay, I'm gonna go finish the other under eye off camera just to save some time, and I will be right back. And I'm back with the other eye all complete. Um, now all we have to do is the eyebrows and some finishing touches and that's it just to finish off this look. First I'm gonna start with the blush. I'm going to take a bright pink blush. I'm taking the shade Blend and Snap from the Nikki Tutorials palette. And just placing that right in my app the apples of my cheeks. We're going for like a sad fashion clown today. Lightly doing circular motions just to blend it out. Doing the same thing to the other side. I'm gonna place, blend, and snap. Place, blend, oh snap! See what I did there? And I'm just placing a little bit of that on my nose. All right, and actually I'm gonna put a little bit. A little bit. <laughs> uh, place a little bit of that pink in the crease just to make the look a little more cohesive. 
right and do the same thing to the other eye it's the colors where the clown starts coming in let's be honest drag is one step away from clownery a little tomfoolery okay as you can see i did my brows off camera and i put my lashes on to save some time and now i'm just going to do some finishing touches to finish off this look so i'm going to take a dense brush and just a little bit of blue and I'll place that right here because what's a sad clown without one single teardrop? Oh, cute. And just around that, I am going to trace it with a liner. All right, and with the white liner, I'm just gonna add a little highlight to that big teardrop. All right, I'm gonna go get my drag on and finish everything up and I will be right back for the finished look. But I'm gonna go eat first because your girl's hungry. And this is the finished look, guys. This April Showers, like, sad clown makeup tutorial is all finished. Um, oh, how do we feel about it? It's, it's something. That, that, it, it's something. Hello. <laughs> uh, you know, the white face definitely brings, brings out, like, flaws. We love that. Uh, but it, like this like clown face is like super cute. Like it makes like the contours of the face like stick out like crazy. Um, this like teardrop with like a little stone, the, the single stone is so dramatic. I love. And then these like little sad like sperm eyebrows. Everything I could like need in life. Uh, and then like Tool, love her. She's great. Little fashion sad clown. We love, right? Absolutely. Yeah, once again, this look is inspired by Got Mick. Love them. Finalist on Drag Race this season. Congratulations. With this, I feel like like Raven as well. Raven? Yeah, low key, high key. Mm -hmm. Oh, and these like little tiny blush dots are so ridiculous. But they add just like the littlest bit of like color. And we love that. On this like black and white face. Aw, the little sad clown face. If you like the video, make sure you hit that thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel. And make sure you hit that bell notification so you know the next time we make a brand new upload. Yeah, make sure you follow on all my socials at the Olive Cox for more drag fun. Um, and yeah, I'll see you guys next week. Bye.